Good morning, Cody Solberg. How's it going, John Lehman? I'm putting you on the news. Oh, I love being on the news. What are we talking about today? We're talking about how good with some walleye cheeks be with some squirrel tails. Are you going squirrel hunting? I don't know. Are we? <laughs> yeah, after this. <laughs> we got to catch a walleye first, though. And then we're back with big, bad, air gun Brad. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Today, today I'm the walleye whisperer. Now, now you know what? I'm going to be both. I'm going to be cracked at both. We're going to get some walleyes in the boat, and then we're going to go chase some squirrels as well. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Small Game Tour. Today, I thought it'd be cool to mix it up a little bit. So, it is February, and this is the earliest that I've ever gotten invite to do some open water fishing. And beans that it's with a good old buddy, old pal of mine, Cody. He's right there, as you guys can see him right there. Cody S. He said, come on out, let's catch some fish. And I said, bet, but do you have any land to shoot any squirrels by any chance? He's like, yes, but in order to give you permission to shoot a squirrel, you need to catch a fish first. So I said, fair enough. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a little cast and blast. We're gonna be doing some walleye fishing on the Fox River here in De Pere, Wisconsin, and then we're gonna go try to shoot a squirrel after this. If you guys didn't know, Cody does have a guide service. If you wanna check it out, it'll be linked down below. Uh, he does a bunch of guiding here on the Fox, Green Bay, and salmon trips also on Lake Michigan. So if you guys wanna get out with Cody, catch some fish with the family or just some friends, I'll leave all this stuff in the link below. And who knows, maybe one day when you book a trip, I'll be on the boat with you guys. You just never know. So I don't wanna keep this very long. We're gonna start fishing. It's like I said, this is the earliest I've ever open water fished. So the fish is gonna be, a, it's gonna be a lot tougher than normally what we're used to out here. Normally when I'm with Cody S, it's like, oh, we're boating 80 today, right Cody? Oh God, yeah, John. But being that it is February, it might be a little slower. That's all right, I'm here for a good challenge. Let's strap up the GoPro, start catching some fish. Wish us luck. All right, folks, Mindax finally gonna start fishing. I'm gonna go in this nice Eskimo little minnow bucket here. And uh, I'm gonna put this on my hair jig. And we're gonna send her on down. Ooh, I think I grabbed the one dead minnow in there, I did. There we go, look at that guy. Just got a little fat head minnow right here, as you guys can see. And then Cody was nice enough to give me a rod to use. And, oh, wouldn't you know, we got a nice PC Fun Honor X reel right here. If you guys wanna check out any PC Fun's reels, you can use our code MD18 to save 18% off. It's pretty killer. Me and Sam loved using the Carbon X's for ice fishing. And now I'm pretty hyped to be using this for a little open water fishing. This is actually a reel that I've never used before. I've just used um, the Carbon X, so I'm excited to see how this goes. So I think the deal for today is we just come over here and you just open your bail up to your PC Fun reel. You drop it all the way to the bottom and we just do some vertical jigging. We will do some casting later today, but for right now, this is gonna be the program, man. All right, just some little jigs like this. So nothing too crazy. It will be cool if we uh, get to start doing some casting, but right now, this is the name of the game. But I mean, perspective is essentially the same thing. Oh! <laughs> 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 it's gonna be a carp. I see it on the live scope. Shoot, doggy! I am back. I am back, boys. This is my first open water fish of the year. And it's all thanks to my good buddy, Cody S. Guy Fishing Service. You like that minnow in your face? Yeah, you almost hooked me. Look at this man. Nice work, pal. Hey, hey. if you want to get on the walleyes, get a hold of this guy. Next up, 28 incher. 28 incher. Hey, I'm happy though. First open water fish of the year. See you. Oh, that one almost took the freaking rod out of my hand, dude. I was like, I swear that's something. That was embarrassing, guys. 
I was like, oh, you know, we're over some rocks right now. It's just going to be rocks. Nope. It was a walleye and it started moving and it took the rod out of my hand. I let this 16 inch walleye just absolutely manhandle me. You're just walleye. It'd be a good eater if we were keeping fish today. I was wondering if you were going to set the hook up. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> Emerald Shiner, getting it done. Hey. Hey, me and Cody S on that double. Just a little double, Johnny. Boy. Hey, we've had a couple doubles in our life before. Our tips are touching. Whoa. Like cookie cutters, bro. Yeah. Literally cookie cutters. Cheers. Hey, cheers, man. Many more where that came from. Fishing with John. Woo! Man, we got this. Oh, yeah. Like, those look... That... See, I'm catching... Even when we go back there, I want to throw this because I feel like you'd catch them. Oh, yeah. This looks fire. Look at that. Who says you can't catch them on plastics? My nicest one of the day. Oh, there he goes, quick release. See you, buddy. We count that one. That we count that one. one. Yeah, yeah, dude, that the plastic, good. baby. I did switch up to a little plastic and we did a, a long, what, what does Nick call it, an L, what? A LBR, long boat release or long, Oh, no, we let them we let them go in the water. I'm counting that though. That was pretty lit. There he is, Brad. Yeah. Yeah, boy. yeah. Yeah. Bradley goes, there's one by you. And Bradley wasn't lying. Look at that. Perfect eaters if we were eating fish. That one read the program nice. You it's nice. It with that squirrel? Ah, you know, I, I was thinking about keeping a couple, but I'm like, you know, I don't know if I feel like actually cleaning fish today. But it was, I was going to say, it's kind of fun catching them on lures other than live bait. So we just got a little plastic on there with the frostbite meathead jig. Deadly combo for the spring. Whew. Well, it is about 1.30 and the fellas and I had a pretty good day of fishing. I think in total, we've probably boated around 20-ish walleyes or so. Can't complain. We're going to give MVF to Brad, AKA Brandon from NB Edits. MVF is most valuable fisherman. Our friend group likes to give MVFs out uh, every fishing trip, just for funsies, you know? But had a good time out here. Again, if you guys want to come out here and do some fishing on the Fox or the Green Bay area with my boy. Hey, look at that MVF up there. Just <laughs> psh, psh, botching his hook sets. And that is MVF up there for those of you wondering. But if you guys would like to fish with my good buddy, Cody, I'll leave his stuff linked down below. Anything Green Bay, he's your guy. Hey boss, thanks for letting me hop on the boat with you today. You're welcome, buddy. Anytime, you're always welcome. But now, it's my time. It's my favorite time. You got some, some squirrel land, I hear. Yeah, I suppose, since you came and catched a walleye, now I gotta let you go catch a squirrel. Brad, congrats on being MVF today. Hey. Thanks, bro. It was a good day, man. Uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, we all kind of did the same thing. We tried a couple different techniques out here, and uh, yeah, everything worked out. Now it's time to go catch some squirrels. So we are going to get the boat on the trailer, head on over to the land, 
and see if we can scrounge you up a little critter. Dude, you're good. All you gotta do is just load her, the brake, and then should be good. Okay. So brake, you push down on that. No, no, you then? just, you just, you just, you just go for you it. Just go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, rack oh, one right now. Okay. Yeah, rack one right now. So you just. Oh, yes, sir. So Keep weird. going. Keep going. See it, muscles. There oh, you go. Okay. Okay. Now bring her back up. I should say nine now. Yep. Now you're loaded. You're ready to go, dude. Sweet. Sounds good. Dude, look at that, me and Brad. <laughs> We're back on our small game shenanigans. We just made it to spot number one. And I am going to be busting out a gun I haven't used yet. I got some of these right here, the 20 gauge, three inch two shot. I wish I had some uh, rabbit loads and squirrel loads, but I don't. So we're just gonna go with these boys. I'm just gonna grab a handful of these. We're trying to do this kind of timely because it is gonna start raining here kind of soon. So we wanna get out there ASAP. But yeah, that's what these look like right here. And then I think back here, I'm pretty sure I brought my 20 gauge, but we're gonna have to find out here in a second. Look at that. And we got my SB320 gauge. She has never seen a squirrel down on the ground or a rabbit. Maybe today I'll break her in. Pretty excited. We're gonna load her up right here. Oh yeah, Brad. Dude, we are set. So, the plan of attack is we have rights to go in all of this wood right here. So, I think we're gonna walk this fence line down and then the juice I hear is back in there somewhere so we're just gonna see how it goes man i'm pretty excited though just got done clapping fish and man if we could get just to even see one that'd be so cool yeah oh here we go here oh yeah. look at this dude oh this is crazy guys That was cool, just came down this hill. Oh yeah, there's like no wind over here. And, oh, we got a nice little creek right here. That's so cool, and the little bridge you can walk across. But basically, Cody was telling me that like this is the juice. In here is the, the squirrel and rabbit juice. So, oh Brad, it's so calm here. Wow. All right, well, we're gonna figure out a game plan and then go in there. All right, Brad, I'm going over the bridge. I'm gonna say this is probably the coolest rabbit slash squirrel spot that we've hunted. I mean, it's so cool. You got the river, man. Well, 
We've been walking out here for a little bit. Haven't seen anything. It's starting to rain pretty good right now. So we might hunt for a little bit longer and then walk back. Oh, Brandon's yelling at me. Get up to the tree, eh? Okay. You guys okay? Is that him? See him? Yep, take one. Nice Brad! Nice Brad! Okay, he's running. Okay, wait, no, no, we're good. He's up this hill, or up this one. Fellas. That was a crazy 15 minutes. So I was just vlogging down there saying, you know, oh, it's starting to rain. Don't know if we're going to see anything. And Brad, all of a sudden, I hear him whistling. I'm like, what? He's like, come up here. I'm like, oh, gosh. So I haul up to him, and he's like, there's a squirrel. I just saw it run. It's over by this tree. So I run up to the tree, knock the GoPro off my head. Um, and finally, when I get to the tree that he's in, I'm looking. I couldn't see him. And then I don't know if you guys heard it in the audio, but I'm like, gosh, I think I see him, but I'm not sure if that's him or not. Like, I don't want to just take a random shot um, in case it wasn't him, you know? So I didn't shoot at it. And then as soon as I moved, it ended up moving. And then Brandon says, oh, I got a shot. I'm like, dude, you got to take it. Cause like, I didn't have a shot guys. Uh, Brandon didn't have any cameras on him, but you guys saw him smoke that squirrel and it fell down right onto the ground next to us. And then it ran a little bit of ways and Brandon had to put another shot into him. And uh, let's just say that second shot, he's, it's he's, not looking too good. So I, I like, like I, I'm looking at him right now, and I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to offend anybody and make YouTube mad and all that stuff. But you guys saw Brad absolutely crack that squirrel with the Walmart air gun. That was crazy. Brad, what'd you think about all of that? Dude, that was pretty sweet. I swear, I just heard like something go up one of these trees here. I don't know if it was this one or this one. I keep looking, so there might be a second one nearby. But we got the one. Pretty decent shot, was, you know, like John said, you came up around one side, you were kind of looking at him, and then, I don't know, we just didn't really have a shot, and then all of a sudden he moved and he exposed himself, and I was like, oh, I got this, dead. Brad, go, you have bro. been a sniper the last two videos, bro. Hey, this and that's thing, with the Walmart gun, too. Yeah, this thing's pretty nice, actually. I was 
fairly impressed with that. That was not bad. We got one, so that was sweet. Whew. But I think that is going to wrap up this hunt. Um, I think I see another rain cloud coming and it's gonna start raining again. So we gotta get back to town. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little cast and blast action, man. We did some fishing with Cody for Wallace, which was a lot of fun. And then Cody was nice enough to let us come out here to uh, him and Mikey's property where we got to harvest a cool squirrel, yeah, man. Yeah, that was awesome. More squirrel stew maybe, eh? Maybe. Well, maybe make some more squirrel stew. If you guys haven't seen that last video, Brad and I chefed up some squirrel stew and it was super good. But just want to say thank you guys for sticking all the way to the end here and watching this video. Drop a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, uh, Brandon and Nick have a channel and they were nice enough to let me come out here and spend some time with them. So not only should you check out Cody, also make sure to always check out the homies NBA. It's, you guys see them in the videos a lot, so you guys are probably used to them. But they have a YouTube channel, do a lot of fishing and camping stuff. Maybe hunting soon because Brad's a sniper, man. Hey. I would definitely be down to do some more small game, maybe get out and do some bird hunting. That sounds fun. I would love to take you out. All so right. you guys need to go check their channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.